Studio One is an unbelievably powerful DAW and in fact is probably one of the fastest DAWs out there on the market right now. It does a lot of things really well that other DAWs don't even do at all. For example, the toolbar functionality, which is right up here if you click this little icon, which is like essentially the macros icon, there's an entire toolbar up here and there's already toolbars that are here already and you can just cycle through them, you can create your own. It is such a powerful tool. Down here, I downloaded the productivity toolbar from Ivan Calderon, and it is such a powerful toolbar. But let me show you why it's so powerful. So here I have a song called Let the Next One Know by Chasing Mallory. I'll leave a link to this song down in the description below. This band is phenomenal. I know what you have not done. And here I have this lead vocal. I know what you have not done. And so what I want to do is I want to throw a compressor on it. Now there's multiple ways. I could just throw it on the insert over here. But if I come up to the toolbar, I can choose one of my favorite compressors. There are three here. This is the stock compressor that comes with Studio One. It's a great compressor. I have an LA-2A and an 1176. The LA-2A is one of my all-time favorite compressors. So I'm just going to load it up. And here I am. I know what you have not done. And I am completely done. If I want to load that exact same compressor on multiple tracks, I can select multiple tracks and do the same thing and select the compressor. You can even create your own macros by coming up here to Studio One and clicking Macro Organizer and then create new. So essentially anything you can think of, you can create a macro for. I have a macro to zoom out completely on a project so I can see every single track in my project. And then I routed it to a button on my mouse with one click. I can see my entire session. Then I can select a track and then I can click the other button on my mouse and just zoom directly into that track and then zoom back out. It's unbelievably fast. Another thing I really love about Studio One is the drag and drop features. I've created presets for Studio One that you can just drag and drop directly onto channels. So here I have a vocal preset. I'm going to drag it directly onto this channel and it loads up every single plugin on that channel. Let's do a little before and after. I know what you have not done makes a massive difference. You can download that exact preset down in the description below. It's absolutely free. Another thing that's unbelievably powerful in Studio One is the keyboard shortcuts. Now, a lot of different DAWs have keyboard shortcuts, but because you can combine keyboard shortcuts with macros, it becomes extremely powerful. So I have a really quick keyboard shortcut here where you can just select between the tools. I have it set up as one is my selector tool, Two is my marquee tool or selector tool. Number three is my cut tool. Now on the side of my mouse, I have a button that toggles between one and three. So I can just click this out of my mouse, select a spot to cut and then let go and I am back to my original tool. But it gets even better than that. Now this is all being done with my mouse. I can zoom out to see my entire track. I can select a specific region, zoom directly in on it, make a cut, shift it around if I need to, and zoom back out. It's unbelievably fast. And that was with one hand on one mouse. Studio One is such a powerful DAW and it's one of my favorites. But if you wanna see me put it up head to head against FL Studio, you're gonna to wanna to click on this video right here. In that video, I put Studio One up against FL Studio. And to keep it completely unbiased, I called in a friend who knows Studio One in and out. So you're gonna to wanna to click on that video to see that there. And now as always, go create.